Hello, welcome to Mastering 5th Grade Math. Here we're going to be working on patterns and ordered pairs. Basically what we want to do is get you some practice with looking at a pattern of numbers and grouping them into what we call ordered pairs. And I'll explain what that means in a minute. And then we're going to be trying to identify a rule that relates to the pattern that we have. So this is kind of nice to learn how to to do pattern matching, but also what you're learning here is the very, very basics of what you'll get into much later uh, when we do some other topics in 6th and 7th grade math with this and the very, very basics of pre-algebra. So this kind of stuff here with ordered pairs is going in that direction. It's very important. All right, so when I say um, pattern match, what I'm going to try to do is, is um, I'm going to give you a couple of numbers or a couple of columns of numbers. So for instance, here's a number 1, here's a number 2, Here's a number three, here's a number four. This is the first column, all right? And then on this column, I'm gonna give you the number three and the number six, all right? Now, I have two columns of numbers. I need to label them something, okay? I can label them column A and column B or column number one and column number two. But I'm going to choose to label this column X and this to co label column Y. I don't want you to worry too much that, that I'm using letters here. Don't get worried about letters, you know, in a math class, it's okay. We're just using the letter X to represent that column and the letter Y to represent another column. That's all we're doing, okay? And I'm also gonna tell you that for column X, the rule that I've kind of used to generate these is I'm basically adding one. So you see I add one each time. And then over here, for this guy, I'm adding, for this column, 3. So you see, that's the rule here. I've got 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. Here's 3 and 6. So this would be the problem. And the first part of the problem is trying to figure out how to complete the table. Now, I've given a lot of the table to you here, but we need to complete the table. So if we're going to complete this table, this is already done. This We're only putting four numbers in the table, so this is basically finished. How would we complete this one? Well, if we're adding three each time, three plus three is six. Six plus three would mean that nine goes here. And then nine plus three would mean that 12 goes here. So we're adding these in to complete the table. Now we have two columns, one we're calling X, one we're calling Y, and we have four numbers in each column. All right, and this guy follows a rule where we're increasing by one, and this guy follows a rule while we're, that we're increasing by three. Now what we want to do is write down what we call ordered pairs. So I'm gonna write that over here. I'm gonna say ordered pairs. All right, all it means is you're trying to put the numbers together and kind of group them together with a comma because what we're saying here is this is kind of a, a table here. The one, even though this is a column, the one goes with the three, the two goes with the six, the three goes with the nine, and the four goes with the 12. You have to kind of hang on with me here as we go through this. The first problem may not make a lot of sense, but as we go through it, you'll understand what I'm trying to drive at. We want to do an ordered pair for this first one. So the ordered pair, you put the first column number here with a comma, and then the second number you put right next to it. So the ordered pair for this line is one comma three. Very simple, right? The ordered pair for this line is two comma six, right? The ordered pair for this line is three comma nine, and the ordered pair for this line is four comma 12. So what we've done is we've generated four ordered pairs. The concept of an ordered pair is just a couple of rules that kind of go with columns, much as we've done here, and we're grouping the rows into what we call these ordered pairs. Now the reason that we're trying to do this, really, is we want to figure out what the relationship 